Hi there, this video is live, extremely elusive Arctic freeze winter weather forecast UK 21. Like this video, please miss it. Please, please, a thumbs up, tighten the moat and digital moat. It's 13.39 p.m. the afternoon, and like it's 1.39 p.m. the afternoon. Let's get this forecast for the future. So you're talking about this uh, cunning, um, you name it, this November right now. It's talking about Storm Alvin pushes away, northerly winds, northwesterly winds, and maritime air to get towards Christmas, um, 8th December. And uh, quite, uh, quite, uh, so quite solar westerly winds at times, uh, high pressure over us. Uh, as it gets towards Christmas, it's about high pressure over us. Um, foggy and frosty cold morning, south westerly, then the northerly wind, and then south west. It's quite a solar winter, winter weather forecast across the UK. You've got a storm coming in on the um, 10th, the 11th of December across the UK. Uh, named storm, number two as well, after that, towards the end of January. There'll be two of them. And then high pressure builds up towards the end of January, quite uh, frosty and cold, frosty mornings. And then the winds are so westerly. Quite a lot of solar winds, uh, yeah, westerly winds this winter, guys. Uh, those solar, I'm afraid. Um, the high pressure times, and not the cold snaps. Frosty cold mornings with foggy, uh, frosty cold mornings with high pressure overs. And high scouting high, high towards the end of February, it might get cold and frosty with an easterly wind or northeasterly wind, maybe for a while. south westerly winds again, stormy wet, wet, wet weather for coming March, like stormy and wet weather across the UK. And you name it, guys. The future is very uh, determined, very uncertain, very wild, and very highly flammable and finely pickled. This is that. This is the forecast from Met Check for the future across southern England. Come back to uh, maximum temperatures down the left. What it feels like, a minimum temperature in the morning, this is rainfall, and uh, this is what's going to be the chance of happening, and this is wind direction there, and this is what's going to be the strength of the wind, and you name it, guys, and we've got the icons of where we're going to get that day, let's go for it. So this is what's going on, if you see what's going on for December, it looks like it's going to be quite uh, mildish, and then cold at times, quite high and flammable, might be cold over Christmas, or after Christmas. This is um, jam January. Across southern England, from about uh, temperatures are high of seven or six, quite cold starts in the year and warm in the middle, and then cold towards the end of uh, January across uh, southern England uh, at times. It will be it will be mild, and yeah, yeah, and there's a lot of cloud, a little bit of showery activity, and uh, talk about winds from the southwest there, and quite mild solar winds uh, for February, quite uh, mild uh, at times and chilly and cold. Uh, it does get cold in the February though. There might be frosts in the morning, uh, as I was saying to you earlier. Okay, let's go to the American Axe talking about the weather. Talking about there's been snow recently yesterday across working town locally. Um, this is southern England, we're looking at across working town today. And this is what's going on, the American website. So that's going to be very cold at times, quite um, quite cold and quite mild at times, with highest of temperatures and lows. This is what's going on in January, you can see what's going on there. Uh, quite uh, highly flammable, quite changeable. Might be some snow at times, I wouldn't rule it out for January. Um, usually you get snow towards the end of uh, the winter across southern England, across working town locally. And uh, something cloudy, and might be wintry showers or rain showers. You can see what's going on there for um, this is um, you name it February. So it's very changeable weather across the UK. And this is the future. This is the um, future forecast from the dry out the safe model or the other one of them. This is another one. And you can see what's going on there for the future. Uh, you've got high pressure. This is look, doesn't look very likely. This is probably the best one I can find, but it's it's very highly flammable, it's very changeable. It doesn't look like we're going to get a very cold winter at the moment, but there might be cold spells at times, and there might be just frosty and uh, you name it, um, you name it, cold snaps. But it could well be. This is the polar plant. Yep, the polar that's a doom, really high up. You can see what's going on there, guys. Talking about um, the polar yeah, the polar the polar a doom. I'm afraid. Talking about 90 to 80 degrees, well below average for this winter. It was like this last winter, but uh, it did warm up towards the end. We got an SSW, so there's no sign of an SSW across the North Pole at uh, Shatter Sea at 10 HP at the moment. I'm afraid, just the bad news for you guys. And this is the forecast today across working town locally. There's a chance of some snow showers or some wintry showers, rain and snow this afternoon in this evening. It was supposed to be a roughly around about, it was usually 1600 to 1800, now moved further away. But this might not happen, it might not make it this far south. This system's coming from north. It was very highly flammable across the UK. It's going to be very cold at times this winter and very, very stormy and wet and mild. And um, there might be an Arctic freeze as well, uh, but I can't rule that out. It's very changeable, very wild. That's my forecast this coming winter at the moment. I'll do a final winter forecast um, at some point next week before the winter starts. Thanks for watching. Please thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Sign a gems. May the force be with you. Always quite fast. What the needs in the many. Uh, waiting to you. Yep. Please subscribe to my channel. Sign a gems. Thanks for watching. Bye, the